Main article. Imperialization. I have brought peace, freedom, justice, and security to my new empire. Darth Vader with the rise of the empire, all the institutions of the old republic found themselves either dismantled or modified beyond recognition. There was a riot of renaming all things, imperial, to glorify the new emperor. Overnight, the Coruscant sector was renamed the imperial sector. Coruscant itself was renamed Imperial Center, and Galactic City was renamed Imperial City. The Galactic Senate became the Imperial Senate, the Grand Army of the Republic became the Imperial Army with the Clone Troopers, which made up the majority of the Gar, reorganized into the Stormtrooper Corps, and the Republic Navy became the Imperial Navy. The four decrepit intelligence agencies of the Republic were merged into Imperial Intelligence, with former Senate Bureau of Intelligence, SBI, Director Armand Izzard at its head. The Palace of the Republic was rebuilt and expanded, becoming the Imperial Palace, eclipsing all other buildings on Imperial Center. The former Commission for the Protection of the Republic, COMPOR, was renamed the Commission for the Preservation of the New Order, COMPNOR. Within days, there were few names left to remind the people that there had ever been a Galactic Republic. Palpatine consolidated his power by launching purges against his opponents, most notably the Old Republic officers, whom he had not been able to seduce to his side. Any officers who held anti-imperial sentiments were arrested and executed by Admiral Mullin, under Palpatine's orders. Palpatine's first purge of the Imperial Navy occurred within just two weeks into the Empire's rule. In addition, many former separatist worlds had their assets confiscated by Finance Minister Garg under Palpatine's orders. During the first few years of the Empire, the galaxy saw the single largest military buildup in history. A permanent class of moths and regional governors was established to more efficiently govern individual sectors and regions of the Empire. Popular support for the policies of Palpatine's administration was high. In addition, the Empire also pursued a reconquest of the middle and outer rims of the galaxy, which included getting rid of any and all remaining separatist influence. During the time of the Battle of Kelrodo I during the Western Reaches operation in 17 BBY, the Empire restored order and rule of law in eight sectors, and liberated 95 worlds. For many this was a period of celebration, the Separatists had at last been defeated and order and the rule of law had been returned to sectors that had long been given over to piracy and crime. Citizens who had become disillusioned with their senators found a new voice through organizations like COMPNOR, and the Outer Rim was reconciled to imperial rule through conciliatory gestures like the pardoning and early release of certain separatist prisoners. Nonetheless, many members of the imperial military were unhappy about Palpatine's plans for imperialization. One imperial officer, in particular, the headmaster of the Imperial Academy Gentis, who lost all but one of his sons to Palpatine's warmongering ways during the imperialization effort, formed a military coup against Palpatine and poisoned him with AORTH-6 as a means to bring peace to the Empire, something he realized that Palpatine would never pursue. The coup, while initially successful, ultimately failed. 